हेलो एवरीवन लॉजिक गेट फोर्थ वीडियो नाउ टुडे लेसन वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट सिंप्लीफाइंग लॉजिकल एक्सप्रेशन सो बिफोर वी मूव इन टू दी लेसन स्टिल इफ यू आर नॉट सब्सक्राइब माई यूट्यूब चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब नाउ and don't forget click the bell icon as well right when you move into the logic gate simplification you know you can write the formulas in a different different ways it might gives the same input and also it might give the same output but only problem is the complexity of the boolean logic expression if the number of gates are high then you know it will be high cost therefore we have to minimize number of gates then the cost wise that is good as well as the performance wise it gives high performance but make sure before you do this simplification you have to remember all the boolean laws so best way is to study my previous video and then do the boolean algebra simplification fine now this is the first law we learn here you have uh, four things a dot a equal a a plus c equal a a bar plus a bar that is a bar and a bar dot a bar equal a bar and then we learn the second law as identity law 1 dot a equal a 0 plus a equal a 0 dot a equal 0 1 plus a equal 1 and then we have a inverse law here you have two forms additive and multiplicative form the first one is a dot a bar equal 0 a plus a bar equal 1 and then demogan law a dot bar a dot b bar equal a bar plus b bar and a plus b bar equal a bar dot b bar and then very simple law double complement law a equal a bar bar and then commutative law you have two forms first one is a multiplicative form that is a dot b equal b dot a and then you have a, another one additive form a plus b equal b plus a under the associative law that's also you have a two things a within bracket b dot c equal within bracket a dot b multiplied by c and additive form a plus b plus c equal a plus b plus c and then in the distributive law a within bracket b plus c equal a b plus a c and redundancy law you have two things a plus a b equal a and a plus a bar b equal a plus b now you learn those laws and before we start simplification please write down all the no laws in one piece of paper right and then 
continue with the lesson because when we simplify you should arm with those simplification laws now let's start with simplifying logical expressions using boolean theorems see i have first formula f equal c plus b c and remember on top of b you have a b bar fine so what you can do look at the formula very carefully so you can see c plus b c bar so that bar is comes entire b c that bar comes entire b c according to the simplification laws you can't do anything with simple c but look at b c bar this one and then you can apply de morgan law so you should have understand what de morgan laws shows that is this so once i apply morgan law into this formula you can get like this f equal c plus b bar plus c bar you know you can find out what is the law what i did i just take c bar near to the c fine then what is the law we can apply look at this one here c plus c bar that is inverse law so inverse law shows a plus a bar equal 1 now you have f equal 1 plus b bar now what we can do we discuss that whatever element plus with 1 that is 1 we call as identity law so you can write f equal 1 so finally f equal c plus b c entire bar is same as 1 now we move into the second one that is f equal x within bracket x plus y fine now what is the law i can apply i can't do anything with x plus y alone or just x but look at this i am considering this entire part and here i have used distributive law look at this so a within bracket b plus c equal a b plus a c so i can write x dot x plus x y now x dot y i can't do anything but i can do something with x dot x here this part so what is that that is arithmetic law x equal x dot x therefore i can write simply x plus x dot y now in this step what is the law 
you can apply here what i am doing is i take x out that is distributive law it shows a within bracket b plus c equal a b plus a c now i can write x within bracket 1 plus y now see 1 plus y what is that that is identity law it shows 1 plus a equal 1 so what i can do yes that is 1 so x dot 1 according to the distributive law you can write f equal x so you can see how we were simplified we start with f equal x within bracket x y and it is simplified until x actually you no need to have any logic gate for do this circuit fine now i am going to create logic gate circuit we learn lot of logic gate circuits actually we learn lot of logic gates not gate and gate or gate n or gate x or gate an XOR gate, there are a lot of gates we learn. Now, for example, I want to do this F equal A dot B plus C bar. So, first, actually, A dot B, what we can get? Yes, simple, you can use not and get. And what is this? That is plus. So, you can use O gate. How about this? How we can get the C bar? That is, you can get, use not gate. And also, so I have how many inputs? Yes, C inputs. Actually, three inputs I have. Those are A, B, C. Now, what I am going to do? Can you remember the formula? Yes. So, I need C bar. So, what I did in front of the C line, I use not gate. So, I am getting C bar here. And then, I need this. That gives A dot B. For that, I use something called and get. Finally, I need a dot b plus c bar. So, here I use o gate and add c bar plus a dot b. Fine. That is the way we can create simple logic gate circuit. Fine. Now I have something complex. You can see A dot B bar and I have make it entire bar plus A dot C plus B bar dot C. How many inputs you have? Yes, still three inputs. So I make it three inputs. Now look at this. Actually, I need B bar. So, once I need a B bar, what I can do is, in front of the B line, I will put a, this not gate and make it B bar. Fine. And then I need what? Yes. I need A dot B bar. For that, I use and gate. And I need entire A dot B bar, entire bar. So, in front of the A and gate, I use not gate. Right. My first part is completed now. Now I need, yes, that's I need A dot C. That I need 
a dot c and then again I need b bar yes I have b bar and c that is b bar dot c for that I use and gate. So here I am getting b bar dot c. Fine. Now I am getting using o gate I add a dot c plus b bar dot c. Fine. Now I am going to create final circuit and add these two outputs and take the final output as here a dot b bar entire bar plus a dot c plus b bar dot c. Now this is the way we are going to create circuit. To create a circuit you should have a very thorough knowledge about each logic gate. How that is work. And what is the purpose? And then what is the truth table? Fine. If you doesn't have proper knowledge about that, please refer my first video and second video. Now, let's do the exercise. Now, here you have four questions. So what you have to do is, you have to simplify first. Using simplification theorems, you have to simplify first. And then you have to create final circuit as well. Right? Using basic logic gate, you can create final circuit. Here you have five questions and then you have another five here. So this five also totally ten you have exercises and you have to simplify first using simplification theorems and then you have to create circuit for simplified formula. Right. Now, today's lesson we learned about how we can simplify the for formula as well as how to create circuit using basic gates. Now, you can see, I see Tay with Priyanka, there are so many videos and so many videos will come. So, therefore, don't forget to subscribe my video channel as well as click the bell icon as well. Now, if you have any concern, please comment. Definitely, next video onwards, I will reply you. Right. Thank you very much. See you soon.